this last center. Isastara is contained in the limbic area of the brain. When the enlightenment of the Kundalini takes place, enlightens all the seven pithas in the brain, which are placed along the midline of the limbic area. So we started from the back, is placed here, at the back is the Muladhara chakra. Around it is the Swadhisthana. Then is the Nabhi, then the heart, then the Vishuddhi, and then the Agya. So all these six centers are combining to make the seventh center. When the enlightenment of the Kundalini takes place in the brain, then the truth is perceived through your brain. That's why it's called as Satya Khand, means you start seeing the truth perceived by your brain. Because so far, whatever you see through your brain is not the truth. What you see is just the outer side. You cannot say that this gentleman, is he a good person or he is an evil person? Also, you cannot say about any person who is your relation, whether he is a good relation or a bad relation, or what sort of a person he is, whether he goes to wrong people or to the right people, whether he has connections with the wrong side or with good side. First, what you know is the satya, is the truth. What is this another gentleman is suffering from that you see on your fingers? First you see your fingers. With your attention you know what chakras, what fingers are catching, with your attention. Then with your brain you can depict what center it is catching. Because if you say this finger, that doesn't mean it is Vishuddhi chakra. But your brain then says it is Vishuddhi. And that depicts it that this fellow is suffering from the troubles of the Vishuddhi. But still it is rational. Because you see what finger it catches and then you say. But when the Satya Khandra or the Sahasrara unfolds itself more, you don't have to think about it, you just say it. So opening of the Sahasrara is very important. Now surprisingly it is so placed that Sahasrara has got the Brahmarandra at the level where there is, I mean at the point where there is the heart chakra. So we must know that Brahmarandra is directly connected to your heart. If it is not done from the heart, superficially done, Sahaja Yoga, you cannot go very high. You have to put your full heart into it. That is the main thing. Now the essence of Sahasrara is integration and you can feel their integration. That means when you get your 
Kundalini Sastrara, your mental, emotional, and your spiritual, everything being becomes one. Your physical being also merges into it. So you come to a stage where you develop this Nirānanda. And this Nirānanda you develop when you are absolutely the Spirit. In Nirānanda state there is no duality left, it's Advaita, it's one Personality. That is, you are completely integrated and the joy is not any more dented, it's complete. It hasn't got a happiness and a sorrow aspect, but it's just joy. The joy is not that you laugh loud, the joy is not that uh, you, you, you're always smiling, no. It's the stillness, the quietitude within yourself, the peace of your being, of your spirit, that asserts itself into vibrations. It, you feel that when you feel that peace, you feel like light of the sun, the whole rays of that beauty spreading. Sahasrara is the blessing of the heavens, I should say. Now let this truth take its root within yourself through your Sahasrara. And once this truth becomes absolutely the light that guides you, the light that nourishes you, the light that enlightens you and gives you a personality that has the light, then only you should know that your sastra is completely enlightened by your Spirit. Your face should be such that people should know that there's a Personality who's standing before you who is light. Let's try to put our hand on the heart and stay still for some minutes in silence. Allow your attention gradually to rise from the heart to your sasrara. Now put your hand above your head and try to verify if this subtle energy is coming out of your sahasrara. <laughs> 